For this part of our project, you will need your printed out paper of your animal that you chose, your scratch board, and also a light colored crayon, like um, an orange, a yellow, a light green, a light pink, anything like that, a really light crayon is going to work. So what you are going to do is you're going to take your crayon and you're going to start to apply a lot of pressure onto the back of your printed out picture of the animal of your choice. You are just essentially filling up the entire back of the um, thing that you printed out or the picture that you printed out with this light colored crayon. I am pressing pretty hard because I want to essentially transfer this image right here onto my scratch board. So I need, there, I need for there to be a thick layer of wax or the crayon on the back in order for me to um, make this work. The reason why we do this is um, this is a, a good technique to actually like kind of note and remember. Um, anytime you want to kind of um, draw on um, something or you want to kind of transfer an image without tracing it and without um, drawing it freehand, you can use either, um, you, you know, you can use kind of all these different techniques in order to transfer an image onto a piece of paper. Um, if you were going to transfer it onto a piece of paper, you would have to use charcoal behind here. But as I said, we are using a, we are transferring this onto a scratch board. So that's why we have to use some sort of light wax um, to kind of fill in the rest of this, um, the back here to be able to transfer it. Okay. So I've just filled in um, the rest of the um, back of this picture. What I'm going to need now is you definitely need a piece of tape. I highly suggest you grab a piece of tape. You're going to take your scratch board and you're going to line up the picture with your scratch board where exactly you want it to be and how you want it to sit. And then you're just going to tape the uh, top of your picture to the back of your scratch board. Make sure you don't put the tape on the top of your scratch board just because it might leave a residue which is tough to get off. So I'm just taping this on both sides. Okay. After I do that, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to start to trace around all the outlines or the contour lines, we like to call them in art, of the animal of my choice. I also like to note where um, there are certain lights and certain darks because this project is based fully on um, value and texture and things like that. So I'm just really noting where the lights are, where certain things go in, where certain things are round, where they're a little bit pointier. And I'm just creating, as I said, almost like tracing just the picture with a pencil. I'm not pushing too hard with this, but then again, I'm also not pushing too light. If you push very, very hard, you're going to have a little bit of an issue because it's going to create almost like an indentation into your scratch board. So just make sure that you're really um, kind of going nice and light as you are tracing um, the animal of your choice. This is, a, a, this is way easier than um, free drawing it. Um, this is just a great technique to understand how to transfer images onto a scratch board. So I'm just gonna continue this. Um, I'm tracing all my lines of the giraffe that I chose. Remember, you don't have to choose a giraffe. You can choose any animal you want. Print it out, make it large, make it take up the entire paper so it takes up your entire scratch board, okay? So I'm just going in. As I said, I'm also tracing any sort of um, you know, lines that I think I'll need to make this, um, to kind of help me out. After I do that, I'm just going to peel the tape off the back. Okay, and as you can see, voila, I have the transferred image right onto my scratch board. There is a little bit of residue from the wax, but that's okay. 